welcome back to my channel if you're new hi welcome my name is Raya and in today's video I've got a real treat for you guys and it's really just an inspirational video for I've been on the hunt for cat suits I want to go as a cat I know the ears are a complete um, giveaway but I also just wanted to try on some of them because to be honest the only time of year that I will ever wear a cat suit is going to be on Halloween so and I have two cats I love cats I'm a crazy cat person and these ears are so cute but I also did my eyeliner I just brought it to the front and all the way I would I am going on a ghost train later on so but before then I have to go to the shops so I'm not going to put my whiskers on but I would just draw a little triangle on the nose and add some whiskers with eyeliner so anyways I'm not going to ramble on too much I'm just going to get into it okay so this is the first cat suit that I got from Shein and I forgot I am missing a tail so I couldn't find a tail and what I would suggest is if you're having your hair up then get a long ponytail you can just get like an artificial one or something like that and um, so it's like almost like a tail like a really long one or you can get one but i don't know like how i would wear one on this i'm gonna put some heels on and this was so easy to get on because it's got a zipper i don't particularly love this zipper but i mean it was so easy to get on. So this is a full cat suit, and I've got to say it's really comfy. I don't need to worry about pulling it up. It can gather around the knees, but I've, I wore these with shoes, and I would recommend wearing them with boots because it's just more like a kind of an all kind of cat suit kind of look. I am annoyed that I'm missing the tail. I do have these fluffy little mittens, that I would also wear with these. I've had these for years. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't lost them really, but um, they've got a thumb hole in here. So they go on like this. By the way, excuse my finger. Um, I ripped half of my nail off uh, the other week and it really hurt. That's, <laughs> then that's the story really. I have to wait for it to go. So I was wearing a bandage and I was just like a very pointy person. So I've taken the bandage off because it just looks like really ridiculous. But look at the mitts. Yeah. So this is super duper comfortable. I think for sure I'm going to need a tail to go with it. This is so comfortable. I can't get over how comfortable this whole thing is. And I mean, I don't know how I would put on a tail. I think they come in like a belt. You can get ones with a belt so it goes around the waist and then it will just be like a tail and i really want a tail so i can like blend in with my cats but the ears are oh my gosh these are from shein and i absolutely love these are so fluffy and they were so cheap as well i should have done this video last week to give you guys enough time to order the ears but you can get ears from anywhere and even if you didn't want to wear the ears you could just do your makeup like that but the ears you can get pretty much from anywhere so i really do think this is cute and also to top it off if you're going out and you're feeling a bit kind of like mm, i'm not sure about this well i've got this <laughs> you guys have seen this and this is uh, a really light coat and it's perfect for the weather we are experiencing so um yeah it's like so warm in the uk right now it's very unusual so love 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 and i suppose if i haven't got a tail i could make this like tie up into a sort of tail but it would just give you tail vibes if that's even a thing so i think what i would say about this super duper comfy it was very reasonable you could probably wear it year on year um i've got like a zipper down the front super easy to get on and off um, it's not like as nicely fitted, but to be honest, it'd probably be difficult to get on and off. I love these mitts and it doesn't gather too much. I'd wear it, definitely wear it with boots and I am completely missing a tail, like I've said a zillion times, but this is pretty good um, for the price. So I'm going to move on to some more premium cat suits now to give you guys, you know, a better idea and more options as well. And now before I put the next cat suit on, I wanted to show you guys, by the way, I'm in love with this gown. 
Um, I wanted to show you guys the one that I got from Ann Summers and it's called the Intoxicated um, Jumpsuit and it's more of a kind of a wet look rather than a vinyl which I think some people might prefer. I got this in a small which is a UK uh, 8 to 10. So it has a little mesh at the front which I quite like in a way and it's got a zipper at the back. Now the quality immediately looks a lot better and obviously is a little bit more it's got this mesh detailing i'm not actually wearing a bra with this because i just don't know how you're going to wear a bra with it it's really actually perfect the only thing i'm going to mention is that immediately when i took it out of the package the zipper was faulty so i can't really show you the back of it but the quality of this is really nice i'm going to have to contact them because this would have been actually ideal and perfect because it fits me perfectly like leggings and then you can wear something on top and this is probably the most wearable cat suit i would say if you're going to wear it out for halloween you can see a little bit of underwear here but obviously if you just wear something seamless then it's fine okay so the next one i particularly quite like better than the vinyl because of the black zip now this is in a small and it's just a bit to like there's not enough body like length of like, there's enough body there's not enough length on me to wear this it's kind of ruching up a fair bit like the sleeves and like the waist bit and the legs like i really do like the quality of this this is from love honey and you guys are gonna laugh because it actually has a zipper like oh like oh my gosh at least my tail can hang on to this but imagine if you go out to a party and someone pulls it down then you're just completely like exposed you don't want that so i'm not sure if i would recommend because you never know someone could actually do that like to you so i wouldn't want to chance it but the quality of this i really like um and i like the sleeves i was thinking if you have like a long a long sleeve um leather top then that could also just work with leather leggings so you don't necessarily need a jumpsuit or a catsuit but I do like the idea of a catsuit and I think the one from Shein, it's very shiny and that's quite cool. I didn't like the silver zipper, but still, nonetheless, it is very cool. I don't like the zipper on this because it goes like all the way around. I mean, at least you don't have to take it off when you go to the toilet. But I mean, this is just a bit too like, I'm not even going to undo this because I'm actually quite concerned about this zipper. But I like how um like it's not pvc and it's just a very much a wet look color so i like this style a lot better but i mean it is a little bit too long on me for reference it is a uk small um which i will double check on the packaging to tell me a little bit more about it but it's just too like i don't have like it's just like I'll show you like, the bottom bit on the legs is just a bit too like gathered. Can you see? It's just not very like the legs. It's just I don't have enough leg for this. So unless you're wearing boots, then that's okay because then you won't see it so much. But it just feels very much a bit big. Maybe I could have down went down a size because it is very roomy um, and you can easily zip it up and put it on. So I do really like this. I do love the fact that it has a zipper and it's open and you can also zip it up all the way if you prefer. Oh, this is really catty, isn't it? Meow. I am, I need that tail. I just really need a tail right now. Imagine if someone pulled my tail. I would get really cross if someone pulled my tail. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I'd prefer it a little bit open, but it looks more of like a catty, cat suit if that makes any sense to have it zipped up and i absolutely am loving my ears so let me know which one you like the most and then i'm gonna wear a makeshift one next so i do really like this i'm bummed out about the Anne summers one because that actually fitted really nicely but you know never mind this does feel good i don't know how my butt looks in it because of this zip the zipper is really just you know like it's convenient if you would like need to go to the toilet but then you can just zip this on so i zip it on and off i do like these mitts with them because it just feels a bit more catty and 
the fact that I have some fluffy ears and this is very cute. And you could always wear it lower, but this is just a bit too low for me. I'll probably wear it like mid, like a, a mid kind of length. I mean, I should wear a push, like push together bra. I wouldn't say push up because it's a stick on one. Um, but yeah, if you've got one of those, you clip them, like you clip them to the front and it kind of pushes you. So then, you know, you have a little bit more support with this. So guys, I really feel like I am getting my worth out of this top. You could go as a Playboy bunny as well if you wanted to wear like a little bunny tail or you can wear tights underneath and shorts and have bunny ears. But this also works well for a cat suit. These are two separate pieces and you guys have seen this in my previous videos and if you haven't then you can just go onto my playlist and I'm sure you'll see me wearing this in, on one of my thumbnails. Um, it's a really great versatile top that I am in love with. and. The leggings fit me the best out of all the cat suits that I tried on. Not one of them really kind of fitted me the way I wanted it to. So this is probably one of the best. The only thing is, because it's a, not a cat suit, I feel like sometimes I'm going to be pulling this up. But it just fits me the best with the leggings and everything. I love the ears. Um, and I think it's really cute. If you wanted to go OTT, then you could wear a choker with this. And I can't find my black choker, but you could wear like a choker style necklace with this. So guys, we have reached the end of the video. I hope this gave you a couple of good ideas for cat suits if you do choose to go as a cat. And especially this one. So if you won't have any time to order any of the cat suits that I've shown you today, um, then you can wear some black leggings even a black top it doesn't necessarily have to be a leather one it could just be like an all black top it's probably the easiest um even if it's not shiny i mean i love the shine look and i feel like halloween is probably very appropriate to wear it but also the ears little mitts and to throw on like a coat you don't really need <laughs> you probably don't really need a coat this time of year but it is very warm so anyways Thank you so much for watching and I wanted to show you guys a little bit more of an update because we have had the decorators in and there's been a couple of um, bits that are new so I'm going to show you guys. So this is very much just crazy room right now because there's loads of stuff everywhere in the room but we have painted it. The colour that I've gone for is a colour by uh, Paint and Paper Library in the shade Fuji and this is it's really kind of hard to differentiate this bit should be the wall so there is a slight color here difference and the ceiling my husband can't actually tell the difference for the color in fuji so anyways um and i'm showing you guys here because you guys haven't seen this and um, they have put the pressed aluminium strips along here. Now this beam, we obviously would want it a lot thinner, but this is an actual RSJ, which supports the back of the house and the floor, well, it doesn't support the floor. This one supports the floor upstairs, but this one is very much supports the back of the house. It's like a goal post. So it had to be this size and we couldn't get the pitch too high because of our extension on top. So, um, it's, but I think, I mean, I know we did pay a lot of money for this, but when you look at the doors and you sit down, it is actually worth it because otherwise we would have had it to here and not up to here. And I think this just kind of gives you a little something extra. And that's how I feel anyways. So we've got some um, wires here. That's gonna be our um, outdoor lighting on the steps. You can see they have built up my flower beds here and here i wanted a water feature so i don't know what i'm doing just yet but this is the step down and they are going to pour some stuff on here and then i think they put concrete or something like that so so yes a little update for you guys um and i've also managed to find myself a new electrician my decorator kindly actually sent him over on yesterday which was friday so and we've agreed um the costs so he will now do the second fix and we will be hopefully be able to install the kitchen once it's delivered i just need to finish buying my appliances so hopefully things should start taking shape really soon so anyways thank you as always for watching bye